Hello everyone. We're going to look at chapter 26 today, which is on the osteology of the skull. So ology means the study of an osteo refers to bone, um, skeleton, that sort of stuff. So what we're looking at is we're studying the osteology of the skull. So we're looking at the bones and structures of the skull. So when we look at the bones of the skull, there are 22 bones in total. So 22 bones in total. The reason why we have bones is because it surrounds the brain. So the brain kind of sits in here and the bones are protecting the brain from any injury. They're forming our facial skeleton. And as you know, how when babies are born and as they grow, the bones grow and participate in the growth um, of the jaws as well. So the bones are growing as the baby is growing. Let's look at three main terminology here. So we're gonna look at suture, and suture is basically, if I go to the next slide, do you see these lines over here, the squiggly lines? The squiggly lines are the sutures. It's when the bones kind of form together and fuse together, it creates, <clears throat> it creates a suture. So a suture is the joining of two or more bones. So it's a line that joins the bones together. A foramen is a hole. And so if you see here, there are tiny holes within the skull, and those holes are known as foramen. The reason why there are holes such as this in the skull is because this is where the blood vessels and the nerves come out from. And we'll look at that later on in the um, course. But the reason why we have these holes, which are known as foramens, is so that the blood vessels and nerves can come out from there and innervate um, the area or give us feeling in that area. Then we'll see something called the canal, which we might refer to here and there. Um, you may have heard of optic canal, for example, and a canal is like a tunnel, like a tube-like opening, kind of like a tunnel that you'll see within the bone. So let's look at the bones of the neurocranium. So when you see neuro, like that word neuro, it refers to brain, their brain. So we're going to look at the bones surrounding the brain. And so there are eight bones that are surrounding the brain. So let's look at them. First one is frontal. And that's pretty easy because it's right in the front. It's where your forehead is. So forehead starts with F, frontal starts with F, frontal bone. Then we have the sphenoid bone, and the sphenoid bone is kind of off to the side, so it's the yellow that you see, and you can see that it is a single bone. So frontal is also single, there's one bone. Sphenoid is also single, so it's just yellow, and it kind of drags in and comes out of the other. Um, you can also see it on the other side, and I'll show you other pictures later on, but it is one whole bone. We have the ethmoid bone, which again is also a single, okay, so it's one bone. And you can see a tiny bit over here, and we'll look at it in more detail later on. The occipital bone is at the very back of the skull. So you can't see it from this view, but we will look at it later on. Temporal bone is where your temple is. So on the side of the skull. And parietal bones. Parietal comes from the word like the side, the wall. So it's like the, the two, we have two parietal bones, one on this side and one on the other side. So this is paired. Parietal bones are paired, okay, because we have two of them. Temporal bone is also paired because we have it, we have two of them, one here and one on the opposite side as well. So let's look at this. This over here is the frontal bone. This over here is the parietal bone. Parietal bone. This over here at the back is the occipital bone. Um, a good way to remember this is the occipital starts starts with O. I think of octopus. Think of like you went diving and an octopus just, you know, latched onto the back of your head. Now imagine that picture. So OC for octopus, OC for occipital bone. Okay, so an octopus is at the back of your head. We're looking at the temporal bone, which is on the side. Right? The temporal bone, which is on the side. And we're also looking at the ethmoid bone, which is... I'll look at, I'll show you better pictures, but it's on the inside. So when you look through the eye for a bit, you can see it. So it's in the inside. It's on the side right here. There's the ethmoid bone. Okay, and then the sphenoid bone, which 
is this over here. So again, let's review. Rental, parietal, which is paired. See, parietal has two, one, two, parietal. And turn to the side. Sphenoid, ethmoid, which is on the inside of the eye, ethmoid. And you can see it on the other side too, ethmoid. Occipital, this is the occipital, think of the octopus. Temporal bone, which is this over here, temporal bone. And I think we also said, we said parietal. Okay, so those are the bones that surround the brain. They're the neurocranium in our skull.